what's up? So let's just jump right into the updates today. So the first update is the update to the ballistas. Uh, the light ballista has had its requirement increased from, I think it was 45 range requirement before, but anyway, now it is 65 range requirement, which is what the heavy ballista used to require. So the light ballista 65 range requirement, and it had its stats buffed um, up to 110 range attack. So let's just take off all my gear really quickly so we can see the stats. So there is the stats of the light ballista. Um, put on the rune javelin. Before I think the highest was an Addy Javelin you could, that you could use. Now you can use Rune and I think you can also use Dragon. Yes, so you can use a Dragon which has 150 range strength. Uh, this is the stats I think the Heavy Ballista got nerfed to a few weeks ago. Um, so this is basically the Heavy Ballista now. Uh, but instead, and then, or the Heavy Ballista now, they um, increased it. So now instead of requiring 65 range, it requires 75 range. Along with 75 range, it requires the completion of Monkey Madness 2. So you can of course use any javelin with the Heavy Ballista. It had its stats increased along with the requirements. Its range attack is now plus 125 and it gives a plus 15 range strength boost. I'm sure some of you guys are wondering how this compares with the original Ballista before they nerfed it and stuff. Um, the delay, this it's the same as it's been for the past like month or two, how, what, it, what they changed it to, which is pretty much no delay. So it's still like that. Um, as for the stats, originally, before there was any nerf at all, just how the original Ballista was, it was, uh, it took me a little while to find something that had the original stats. According to this thing that I found, it was 120 range attack. Now it's 125, so it's actually five higher than, than the original uh, Ballista and the range strength was 175. Now that this has a plus 15 boost added into it uh, with the Dragon Javelin, it is 165. So it's a little bit uh, weaker as far as how high you can hit. It's more a little bit more accurate though. Um, so it, it's pretty close to the original. So it's, it's powerful. Uh, the downside for Pures is they can't use this anymore. Um, now you have to have completed Monkey Madness and gotten the XP and completed Monkey Madness 2. So you, I'm not sure what the lowest defense level would be. I think Monkey Madness would get you straight up to like 30 something. So 30 something is probably the minimum defense level requirement for it. So it might as well just be a Zerker. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the Ballista. The Light Ballista is basically what the Ballista was nerfed to. So that is it for the Ballista. Next update is they changed the shortcut in here that goes to the Cosmic Altar. Before it was um, basically the same speed as walking around this entire thing, I think, or it was the same speed as using the shortcut over here, which is lower level. So basically they just made it uh, worth its level requirement. It's a higher level requirement, so it should be faster. Um, so now it is up to par. So next up is the Construction Skill Cape. Um, my Construction Skill Cape perk applies to my Max Cape. Max Cape has every Skill Cape perk. So here is the new construction skill cape perk. Uh, you go to poor po portals and you can teleport to any of the um, little house portal uh, locations. Before you could do that, but you only had a limit of five per day and you couldn't teleport inside. Now you can teleport inside as well as you can teleport, teleport to all the other locations and there is no limit. So you can do it as many times as you want. Um, it is a nice little feature. It's, uh, it's not extremely useful. I think a lot of the high levels wanted it to be where it was just you always teleport inside. So you, we didn't need all these extra teleports. It was just always, it was basically a house tab. Um, now it can be a house tab other than the fact that you have to sit and go into this interface and then click on it, which takes a little bit of time. I know some of you guys are like, that's pretty much no time. Why, why would that matter? But in the high level community, that is, that does matter. Um, it is faster to just click a teleport to the house. So teleport to house will still probably be used mostly for most things. Um, that is it for the construction skill cape update. Up is this little shortcut update. Um, so it requires 63 agility, and which is a little bit lower than the pipe over there. So it's um, it cuts like half the time off of going all the way around here. You can just go through here now. Instead of going over by the magic axes and the dwarfs and all that stuff, just go through that and you can now access the blue dragons this way. So it's still a whole lot longer than just going through the pipe tunnel over there, but the pipe takes 70 agility. So this is just like 
kind of a shortcut for a little bit lower levels. Um, yeah, that's basically it. A new shortcut right there. Update today was the update to Barrows. They added a rewards poten potential percent down here in the corner. Um, it's actually not very helpful right now um, until they release some information. Uh, for those of you that weren't aware, you could, you didn't have to get 100% to unlock max runes. Uh, the last three unlocks were Bolt Racks, Key Halves, and Dragon Med Helms, which are kind of worthless. You m mainly just wanted to do this for the runes and the Barrows pieces. So it was time efficient to just get max runes, um, which before was about three skeletons would get you max runes. Past that, you were just getting an increased chance on the Bolt Racks, Key Halves, and Dragon Meds. Uh, basically worthless stuff and so now I imagine 100% is the same thing as 100% 100 before which is not what you want um, to be as efficient as possible so three skeletons now gets you about 86% so and just doing some math I think um, max runes is about 85 to 88% somewhere around there uh, but I'm not 100% sure so this is kind of not very helpful to people that were doing barrows efficiently because now um, we don't know for sure what the percent is for max runes. I, I guess if, if they didn't really change the mechanics, all this is is just showing you the percent, then you could just continue doing what you were doing before. So max runes is three skeletons. Uh, hopefully they release some more info on this, what percent max runes is. And on to the next updates. First, let's see what I get from this chest. That'd be awesome if I just happened to get a barrows piece. Nope, just ruined. Update today was the buff to Seer's Ring. In its base form, it's plus six, and imbued, it is still doubled, so now it's um, plus 12 in magic attack and magic defense. Before, it was plus eight when imbued, and plus four regular. So that is it for the Seer's Ring. I think they should do this to the Warrior Ring and all the Accuracy Rings, because Berserker Ring pretty much almost always beats them out, and I think it'd be awesome to have a better use for them. Just to the in other news, some little updates so here they are slayer log i thought this was last week they already did this but slayer log now displays the number beside lots um i already showed the construction skill cape existing magic boosting prayers now increased not i'm going to go over that later that is a big thing actually um yeah you can just read through these not nothing too big magic and view has been changed so now it fades out like vengeance and yeah that's pretty much it read through the rest if you want to see them i'm going to go into the magic boosting prayers update today was the update to the magic prayers they now offer magic defense um so before they only offered magic accuracy so now they ha are how i think they should have been i thought this is how they were until they did their uh myths live stream whatever it was called so I'm going to go ahead and test it. I, According to my calculator, hopefully my formula is right. It could be wrong though, but this is what I got. If you were using super and just really quickly the gears, um, it does depend on your gear. I can't test every gear, but with this scenario, um, this is the gear I use when I fish dark crabs. I have 122 magic defense bonus. Um, here is my account I'm going to attack on. Uh, 91 magic with 107 magic attack bonus. Um, this account is... 99 defense 99 magic i'm gonna go grab a super defense pot so i can test it versus these formulas and also yeah sting um i just did 100 casts with um eagle eye i mean i, I mean mystic might and steel skin and then 100 casts against piety so it turns out i got 46 uh successful hits um against piety and 46 against the mystic might so um PKing, you're probably definitely not going to feel much of a difference. It's going to be very, very small. You're still going to hit pretty much just about the same. Uh, it looks like my, my calculator is probably off, or I just got lucky on my hits. Um, either one of those. Yep, but 46% accuracy uh, with this setup right here on both 100 casts. Um, so there's probably like maybe 1% or 2% accuracy difference, which is going to be really hard to actually be noticeable. Um, but yeah, that is it for all of the updates today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.